What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA Prize Picks video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section. Enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel because I love y'all. Yesterday was an absolute ridiculous show-off day from the Prize Made Easy Tools. Every, once again, Every single green probability play throughout the day, even some of those top yellow plays, swept. The Props Made Easy team uh, on the T Props Made Easy Twitter, at Props Made Easy on Twitter, posted multiple plays that were top plays and looked like great plays. Every single one swept yesterday. It was a fantastic day once again. Shout out to all the members who are at Props Made Easy right now. I mean, we have 11,000 plus people. You feel what I'm saying? And growing quickly still. Uh, it's been ridiculous. Um, thank y'all for all the support. Shout out to everybody utilizing the tools and really seeing that that benefit. You can go to Prosmate Easy Twitter right now and see people saying, oh, my first time using the tools today and already hit a six-man. All that good stuff. Look, obviously, I don't want y'all throwing six-mans in every single day, but good to hear that people have that good first impression because I know how people need that immediate gratification. If they come in and use something and they don't win right away, they're going to immediately bounce out and think it sucks. And that's the one of the reasons why a lot of people in this industry are going to be broke. You feel what I'm saying? But luckily, a lot of y'all are PropsMadeEasy.com members, and y'all will be able to sustain success, and you will never fall off like these other folks are going to be doing. So shout out to y'all. Let's get straight into the picks, man. Looking at NBA for prize picks today, we don't have any green probabilities at the top of the tool at the moment. There has been throughout the night. But there's not at the moment right now. It's 9 a.m. Central Time. All right. At the top, though, we do have Russell Westbrook. 52.72% chance to hit on his over 6.5 rebounds assists. It is sad that we are at the days where Russell Westbrook's rebounds assist line is 6.5. It feels like it was not too long ago. This dude was putting up triple doubles on a regular basis. And now his line is set at 6.5 rebounds plus assists. Uh, crazy. But 52.7 chance to hit on this. Minus 136 on his consensus odds throughout the entire industry. Highest odds get as high as minus 140 over on flip. Per player projection of 9.17 to 2.67 pro projection differential. We flip Russell Westbrook's card over. We will see in the last five he's hit 60%. Over the last 20 he has hit this in 60% of the time. So I like Russell Westbrook over 6.5 rebounds plus assists today. Julian Strother over 6.5 points is 52.67% chance to hit. Minus 136 consensus odds. Gets as high as on flip as well at minus 140 and a projection of 9.1, another solid projection differential. Julian Strother it has an 80% hit rate over his last five. Over his last 10, he's got a 70% hit rate. So I like the spot on Julian. Keontae George, under 8.5 rebounds, assists at a 52.56% chance to hit. Minus 135 consensus odds. Gets as high as minus 143 over on hot streak. And a player projection of 8.35 and minus 0.15 projection differential. Keontae, flip his card over. You'll see he's hit this in 60% of the last five. Over the last 20, he's hit it in 70% on his under rebounds assist of 8.5. Aaron Gordon, over 0 0.5 made threes at 52.52 chance to hit. Minus 135 consensus odds on the over. Gets as high as minus 144 on parlay play odds. Player projection of 0 0.65, a 0 0.15 projection differential. Over on his made threes, if you look at his last 20 games, he hits this about 50% of the time. But Data is liking his his line on the over today. Zion Williamson, under 6.5 rebounds at 52.36% chance to hit. Minus 134 consensus odds on the under. Gets as high as minus 145 on flip on his under and a projection of 6.36, which is also under. If we look at Zion Williamson's card, you'll see over his last 20 games, he's gone. He's hit this about 45% of the time. So, um... Not the greatest, but we are starting to get down at the lower level range, guys. I mean, Russell Westbrook's over 6.5 rebounds assists the best option right now. Julian Strother over 6.5 points is another solid one. Keontae George under 8.5 rebounds assists are some of the better ones. Jonathan Kaminga, though, over 4.5 rebounds, 52.35% chance to hit. Minus 134 consensus odds. Gets as high as minus 145 over on Caesars and a projection of 5.55. We flip his card over, look at the last 20. You'll see he hits this line predominantly 55% of the time. So I really like that spot. Now, let's look at all sports books because we have better value elsewhere right now. Prize picks is real tight on their lines. Other places have some good spots. Colin Sexton, under 5.5 assists, 
56.85% chance to hit. Minus 162 consensus odds on the under. Gets as high as minus 184 on pinnacle. Player projection of 5.07. Everything's on the under. If we look at Colin Sexton over his last five, he's hit 80% on the under, 70% over the last 10. Um, if you look at over his last 20, he's about 55%, but recent data is showing very good. Data right now is showing very good. So Colin Sexton under 5.5 assists. You can get this line at Hot Streak, Sleeper, Fliff, Parlay Play, Hard Rock, all great spots. Luka Doncic over 3.5 turnovers at 56.3% chance to hit. Minus 158 consensus odds on his over. His over gets as high as minus 188 odds over on Parlay Play and a projection of 3.6, which is on the over as well. If we flip his card over, you will see over his last 20 games, he's gone over in 60% of his games on this turnover line. You can get this line at Hot Streak, Sleeper, Fliff, Parlay Play. Brandon Ingram, over 5.5 rebounds, 55.43% chance to hit. Minus 152 consensus odds on the over. Gets as high as minus 178 on Parlay Play on the over and a projection of 5.6. Flip his card over, you will see that over his last 20 games, he's gone over in 45%. But over his last five, he's hitting at 60%. Over his last three, he's hit every single one. So I like Brandon Ingram here over 5.5 rebounds with the data and that recent history looking good. You can get this line on DraftKings Pick 6, Hot Streak, Sleeper, Fliff, Parlay Play, Hard Rock. De'Aaron Fox, under 2.5 turnovers, 54.84% chance to hit. Minus 149 consensus odds on the under. Gets as high as minus 160 over on Fliff. Projection of 2.4. Projections on some of these are incredibly close to where the lines are set. If we look at De'Aaron Fox's under over his last 20 games, he's hit this 60% of the time on his under 2.5 turnovers. You can get it on Hot Streak, Sleeper, Fliff, Parlay Play. And then last but not least, last one we're going to talk about, Dante DiVincenzo over 2.5 rebounds, 54.75% chance to hit on his over, minus 148 consensus odds on the over throughout the industry. Gets as high as minus 175 over on parlay play and a projection of 3.24, 0.74 projection differential. If we look at DiVincenzo and his rebounds, you'll see he's hit this 70% of his last 20. Don't sleep on props made easy, man. It makes you so easy. You can see everything right there on your screen. It is absolutely fantastic. So as y'all saw, we got all the best plays put up. Any green probability pop in for prize picks? Nothing yet, but the top option is Russell Westbrook over 6.5 rebounds assists. And then Keontae George under 8.5 rebounds plus assists. Thank y'all for joining me as always, baby. And once again, let's go out there. Let's sweep these plays. Let's have another fantastic day of Prize Made Easy. Only $20 a month. Thank y'all for joining me as always. And I'm out. Peace.